Today we're going to cover how to install a parallel shaft gear drive. Um, this gear drive can be used on a lot of different products from TFT, um, basically anything that uses one of our standard gear boxes, that's the, the ball intake valves, our VUMs, and some other products. Um, when you order the kit, it's going to come with these components that are laid out here in front of me, um, an instruction sheet, uh, a, a card which we'll cover a little bit later on, a, um, a new set of bolts, uh, the gear drive itself, the gear box, and also a package of uh, Loctite. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we've got a BIV here that we're going to switch around. Um, first step is to go ahead and move it to the open position. So we'll go ahead and crank that. It's in a closed position right now. Once we're in the open position, we'll go ahead and use a 5 16 Allen wrench. We'll go ahead and loosen all these bolts and take that uh, existing gearbox off. Um, when, the, uh, when they leave the factory, we actually put uh, red Loctite on the bolt, so it may be a little difficult to get these off and may require some heat. So go ahead and take these off. Okay. Now that all four bolts are out, we can go ahead and slide the gearbox off, off of the unit. You slide it off. A lot of times the, uh, the plastic spacer that's inside the gearbox will move with it. If the gearbox spacer does not come out with it, uh, you'll need to pry that off of the, off the gearbox. Um, that can usually be done with either a, a putty knife or some type of a sharp object, uh, maybe a flathead uh, screwdriver. Just kind of work that up and make sure it pops out of that unit because it will not be required once you install the new parallel shaft uh, gear drive. Another uh, thing to do at this point is to make sure that the O-ring that's inside of here is in good shape. It's not cut um, and it's going to give us a good seal. So once that's off, now we can go ahead and install our new gear drive. Take a look to make sure this is in the open position to match the uh, the ball that's in here. A lot of times once you've taken this gearbox off, the, the ball will swing out of position. So it'll be necessary to go ahead and spin that around so that it's sitting off to the side here. Go ahead and slide this in. And the hex on the, uh, the drive will match up with the hex that's on the ball. Slide that in until it goes all the way down. And now, make sure that you use the new bolts. The bolts that came out of that, you can see, are obviously shorter because the, the drive box on the new unit is slightly longer. So we'll go ahead and put some uh, Loctite on each one of these bolts. Just go ahead and slide each one of them into the, uh, into the gearbox. Just get them started at this point. And then as you go ahead and tighten those up, it's best to do this in a crisscross pattern. So just like you're kind of putting on a, a tire on a car, you'll want to go back and forth to make sure it's evenly tightened and comes down flat on the gearbox. So we'll go over and up. And then just go back around, make sure everything's good and tight. Okay, now you go ahead and check to make sure that the uh, unit's working as it should. Next thing that you, you want to take a look at is the, uh, the card that came with this, uh, this, with this kit. Uh, it's very important that you send this back to us. What you want to do is record the number that's on the front of the gearbox for the new unit, and you'll also want to record the serial number that was on the one that you took off. Record both of those on this form and send that back to us. That's important for traceability to make sure that we know where that serial number is used and we can trace that in our, in our system. One other thing to remember is we do have the capability of moving this handle side to side. There's two button head screws on either side of this, this hand wheel. Um, the, the way it ships from the factory is in the, the longest stroke or the longest uh, axial movement. The, um, it's easiest to move in this position, but if you do have some, some obstructions or things that are in the way, it is possible to go ahead and take both of these button head screws out, move the handle over, reinsert the screws, the torque is going to be a little bit more difficult to, to turn the, the ball valve, but it will save you a little bit more space. 